For the second week in a row, the Raiders put in top-notch performances on both sides of the ball, and the final score really not indicative of how much of a dominant performance the Raiders had. This team's feeling good about how things are going right now, but they know that it's still early in the season. I think with the injuries, with everything our team has been through, um, this bye week couldn't come at a better time, especially with the way we talked about it. You know, when, when everything happens, like, guys, we're gonna, we have to be 5-2 and two at the bye. Be 5-2 and two at the bye, let's get some rest, get healthy, and then let's go on a run. I think the offensive line today set the tempo for what we were trying to do. Um, also, not only in the run game, but pass protection. I think, um, yeah, what was Derek, 31 of 34 today, so they kept him clean with no sacks. Right now, we are, we are having a lot of fun, and if I pulled out, my notes, you know, the last note I always write, you know, Saturday night, as I, I wrote the last couple of weeks, is just have fun and I underline an exclamation point, it, you know. Because um, sometimes you forget that along, among a lot of the questions, a lot of the things going on. It's, it's just still a game. you got to remind yourself, have fun when you hit the field. The Raiders now head into the bye week 5-2 and two and alone atop the AFC West. And interim head coach Rich Bisaccia going to give them all the entire week off. They don't have to come back into the facility for practice until next Monday when they'll start preparing for a trip back east to take on the New York Giants. At Allegiant Stadium, Kevin Bollinger, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.